Greetings, Sonoma International Film Festival. If you're, if you're here, you're obviously going to be watching my film, A Perfect Vintage. I started this passion project back in 2013, and fortunately, I have a brother, Timothy Milos, who is a winemaker in Napa who afforded us an amazing backstage pass into the life and the journey of winemakers, particularly through one vintage and beyond. So the only missing ingredient in our film thus far is an audience, and that's gonna be you guys. And not only do I have an amazing brother, but I also have an amazing friend, Mr. Tom Graves, who helped me put this film together. Tom, hi. Tom Graves here, a NASA engineer by trade, uh, but I love flying drones and have a passion for filmmaking. Uh, joined Troy and Tim in this project uh, and just couldn't be more thrilled um, of the timing and the serendipity of it all. Uh, you know, and, and getting to be a part of this project and learning about wine is always, is something really special. I didn't know much at the beginning, uh, but now know a lot and hopefully you get to learn a lot about wine watching this film. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you and excited for you guys to see it. My name is Timothy Milos. I'm a winemaker in Napa Valley. Somehow my brother corralled me into making a movie about a life in wine, the process, the people, the countryside. Um, it's, uh, as a friend of mine said, a love letter to Napa Valley, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we did making it. Let's um, go ahead and invite some of the winemakers that are featured in the film and uh, a couple of the personalities, and here we go. Let's let's bring them on in. Christy, hello there. Hello, I am Christy Harper. I'm a, a winemaker with Tim um, on his, his various projects. It's been such a treat to see how everything's been stitched together, it, it really shows that backstage look of of all the fun little nooks and crannies in the valley that most people don't see. I mean, most people don't even see behind the cellar doors. So it's it's been quite a bit of fun this this entire time. I would concur. Angelina, why don't you take it from there? Thank you, Christy. Yeah, hi, I'm Angelina Madavi. I am fourth generation of the Charles Krug side of the Mondavi family. And um, we actually feature Charles Krug in it, but also my own brands that my sisters and I own together, Aloft and Dark Matter. So this is actually a lot of fun. Um, and it was exciting to actually see it all come to fruition. And um, I also, Elizabeth, I got teary eyed as well because this year, this past year, so, so emotional. So to actually see and be like, wow, that's what our valley actually looks like. It was just such a different perspective. And it really just took me back um, to what I really love about this valley. Awesome. So uh, Mr. Haber. Mr. Haber, that gives me gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a small thousand case, very private Howell Mountain winery, uh, loving every single piece of the passion of this valley. And for us to see these various vintages that we were talking about and to see what happens in a great year like 2013, it still amazes us. It's just wonderful to be a part of this very special place. Awesome. Elizabeth, how about you, my dear? Well, my name is Elizabeth Vienna, and I had the privilege of going to winemaking school with Tim Milos 24 years ago now. He has been a sounding board throughout my entire career together. I can't think of a harvest that we didn't talk. I think that is one of the best kept secrets, or maybe it shouldn't be a best kept secret about Napa. It's sort of the camaraderie uh, and how tight this community is. And Tim, Tim, I still have a paper that you and I wrote for Linda Besson's my first class of uh, then 108, I think it was. And um, I think it might be worth money someday. Now I'm thinking, but I'm not. I'm gonna hold on to it. Cool. Rhett, you're up next, my friend. Hey guys, uh, Rhett Gadke. Um, I moved to Napa Valley in 1998, which was a decidedly imperfect vintage, um, a rain vintage that that wouldn't quit. Um, the vast majority of my time in Napa was 17 years was spent with a company called Bounty Hunter. Watching Tim at work and seeing the quality of what he would bring, every vintage, knowing what we needed, um, it was almost it's almost impossible to find a winemaker that organized and, and understanding of a client's needs as a consultant. Yeah. 
and the complete lack of ego. Um, we all know, we've all been around the Valley long enough to know that ego-free winemaking is the exception. And Tim <laughs> brought nothing to the equation other than <laughs> making the best juice possible. And year after year, and I remember 13, it was just, you know, we, we, over the years we blended hundreds of lots and it was one of those years where you just stop and go, we can't do any better than this. It was unbelievable to watch. And I'm, I'm thrilled and privileged to be included in this. So thank you, Troy, and congratulations. Oh. We clap for Tim, but the head is a little bigger, Tim. I, I was going to say, Tim's ego free. Is that what you just said? Okay. Is that That's a joke, free? right? What That's do you call the it for winemakers? It's an ego of winemakers? I was holding my tongue during all of that, Rhett. Yeah. And, and great, great to see you, Rhett. I mean, I, you, I love this guy. I mean, for him and I to be in the same movie, I'm loving this. Christopher, while you're uh, taking the floor there, why don't you just continue on to into introducing yourself, my friend? I'm the fourth generation from Sonoma County. My son, Rupert, is the fifth generation from Sonoma County. So we have a lot of uh, heritage here, but it, it, it actually goes deeper than that with the, the Gallo family where my grandfather started the whole production facility for them down in Modesto. So, you know, I know these brands so well the, that are represented in this movie and I have total respect for them. And I feel like uh, this is going to be a big movie for all of us to promote and to, to just enjoy the joys of what we do. I mean, this is really what it is all about. I mean, it's about living a good life. And I think 2020 taught us a lot of lessons about that. You know, how we can actually all cook at home too, because we have no choices. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, to, to appreciate what we have here in, in Napa Valley and Sonoma County and, and actually all the great wine growing regions of America. I mean, we've gone a long ways and I feel like this, this movie is going to make a big difference. Troy and Tom, I'd like to throw in just super congratulations. The professionalism of this is fantastic to sit and watch it. Cheers it's to you guys. It is, it is beautiful. It, it really is. Cheers. It's an honor to be part of it. Like movie stars. Thank you guys so much for participating in and letting us in, like I said earlier, into your lives for a bit. Here's to, um, to everybody who was involved in the film and mm -hmm. to wine, friends, and a perfect vintage 2013. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that.